Okay, sorry about that. It said it was five minutes, and then it stopped abruptly. Let me know how my sound is, because one singular cat knocked my microphone out of place. What was I doing? Turning off Stretchly, like I, I tell y'all I'm going to do every single time. Hello. You're once again pretty quiet compared to the music from before. Son of a biscuit. Hold on. Got my cool mixer. 
turn up my mixer. How is that? I know that I have a little bit of an echo, but is that good? Better. It is an Arcana sweater. Yes, uh, Ocelot asked. Um, Arcana is a witchy uh, convention that my friend uh, Lisa Penrose runs on, it, actually, it's this month, um, if Lisa decides to run it again. Um, but I designed the logo, so I got this super rad um, hoodie, and it's very comfy, and I love it very, very much. Um, okay, awesome. So uh, before I start, two things. Yes, I know my video is desynced. Um, that is a RAM issue. The RAM is coming. <laughs> I keep getting shipping notifications. I cannot wait for it to get here. I'll probably drop everything I'm doing. Number two, there is a slight echo because I just moved and I don't have furniture behind me yet. So I am working on that. But yes, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, yeah, so welcome to the Esprit Games channel. My name is Meredith Gerber. Uh, if this is your first time here, welcome. If this is not your first time here, welcome back. We are really, really happy to have you. Uh, we are an indie video game publisher. We publish games like Valhalla, No Place for Bravery, World of Horror, and much more that you can check out at yisprid.net. You can follow us on Twitter, follow us on Facebook, and if you want to catch up on our VODs uh, from the stream and more, you can check those out at youtube.net com backslash whispered games and yes somewhere in there i was going like twitter facebook and instagram we're not on instagram um and i had to have a slight pause to think about that um we also have a wonderful discord if you are having a wonderful time with people in this chat please consider joining discord.gg backslash whispered games uh where there's amazing community members like you so we would love to see you um Yes, go. Uh, Dream Shaper Twelve says go watch the vods. They are always great. Yes, we will load those vods within a day or two after it goes live. Um, I try to at least. Uh, so definitely check it out. Our library is massive, and we play our own games too, which is always fun. Um, we stream Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday at five o'clock p.m. Pacific, and on Mondays it's Fizz the Human playing Pyre. Uh, Tuesdays. Normally it's Jacob, um, but this week it was me uh, playing Coffee Talk. And Thursdays are usually Jacob and myself, but we're also playing Coffee Talk. So Jacob's on a much, much, much deserved vacation. Uh, he is doing very, very well. And so hopefully we will see him back very, very soon. Um, very exciting. So yeah, um, we do, what's the date? It's the 5th? We do have a sale going on. Um, at GOG.com. Uh, Valhalla is 30% off this week until May 9th, uh, which is very, very exciting if you want to mix drinks and change lives. Um, we are also doing that tonight as well. Um, is that everything? Social media. Talking about the YouTubes. Talking about the Discord, the sale. I think that's, I think that's everything. Um... Yes. So um, tonight we're playing Coffee Talk uh, from our friends at uh, Togi Productions, and we have been playing it. This will be our fourth part. Um, it is a beautiful visual novel where you mix coffee and change lives. Um, it's very, very cool. A uh, couple things. Uh, number one, it's my first playthrough, so no spoilers. Um, if I want help, I will ask for it. Uh, or you can say, Meredith, hey, do you want a hint? Like Sarah Serende did, uh, Sarah Serende, one of our fabulous, wonderful moderators, uh, did last time uh, in which I always said yes because <laughs> I wanted to make sure I got those drinks right. So thank you, Sarah. We appreciate it. Um, and uh, this game deals with some really heavy topics. Um, it's very beautiful and cozy and wholesome. Um, but it does deal with some uh, heavy topics. Uh, we serve drinks to mythical creatures. There is some, um, and there's a lot of, there's a lot. Um, there's like uh, mentions of abuse. Um, there is, 
mythical, a little bit of mythical racism as well that is discussed. Um, so just a heads up for everybody, um, relationship and family stuff. Um, so there's just some very heavy topics. So just letting everybody know ahead of time. Um, and yeah, so, but it's a really great game. So thank you for coming and hanging out. Um, what else is going on? What's going on? Usually we use this time to chit chat. Um, the house is going really well. I'm really excited to make this happen. Um, I have a lot of really cool ideas and I have artwork coming in and I'm very excited. So I can't wait to get that all up and paint uh, and have wallpaper. Um, Ocelot says, how is Noctis? Noctis is my little black cat. He's my brave little boy. Um, he had a really tough time with the move and so he was very, very scared. Um, but every day he gets further out more and more. Um, Banjo has taken over the basement. Um, that's his domain. The entire basement is his. Um, but Noctis has come downstairs a couple of times, so he's getting better. Um, he's just doing his best. In the meantime, he hides in my spouse's bottom drawer. Um, he loves that. It's his favorite place. So we put his little blanket there. So he climbs under and, and sleeps there most of the day, um, which is great. And we're gardening, which is awesome. Uh, we planted our uh, first strawberry plant in the front, and it's got a little tiny straw. But it's like this big. It's so very, very cool. Um, and we also have uh, chives as well. Uh, we didn't grow those. They just are naturally here. Um, so that's very exciting. So we've added that to a couple dishes and I'm really, really excited about it. Um, Mike and, uh, our mutual, mine, Jacob's mutual too, uh, friend Latia Jaquis, um, has been helping out with the garden as well on the weekends, uh, which has been really fun, uh, to <laughs> see Mike and Latia go essentially out to a Home Depot or Menards because they get so excited about plants and it's very adorable. So I'm very excited for that. And yeah, so that's what's going on. And oh, so I'm just glad to be here with everybody. And I'm really glad that everyone is here too for this wild ride of Coffee Talk. Uh, it's been really, really wonderful. So that is what is going on with me. And I have a desk, as you know. I was very excited about it Tuesday. I am still excited that I have a desk. Uh, and I have a window to look out. It's dark right now because I don't want the in my face. Um, but yeah, I have a nice window I can look out into the garden, which is really, really nice. So it's everything's good. Everything's very, very good. Um, we're <laughs> I'm trying to like hold back like photos and stuff of the place because we have a ton of painting to do and like have to hang a lot of artwork and stuff. So I'm waiting. I'm waiting, waiting, waiting uh, to show off everything to everybody so it's gonna be really exciting um especially our guest room it is currently pink and i like pink um different shades of pink but it's like a it's like a pastel pink so that will be going <laughs> as well so lots of painting um more about 70 percent unpacked so almost there getting there um yeah so it's very exciting. Um, a lot of a lot of my friends that I who have moved to houses have been like, "Oh, we didn't unpack for like three months." But me, the type A personality that I am, I'm like, "No, we got to get it done." So every day I kind of release a little bit uh, the boxes, and that's been my thing too when I'm talking online, where I'm like, "Looks over cardboard boxes." So I'm usually in the middle of that. Uh, so it's fun. It's great, and I love it. And I cooked for the first time tonight. It made me messy meatball subs. And I love it. So it was just great. But <sighs> all right. So here we go. Tiny me. Oh, wow. My subtitles are very, very big. Uh, right there. OK. Um, hopefully Coffee Talk isn't super loud. F5. No. No, no, no. No coffee talk, no. F5. No. F5. <laughs> okay. Let me know how the music is. 
Forest Gaze. I have some boxes for my November move still. Well, that makes me feel good <laughs> because I keep feeling like I need to, but I think a couple boxes can stay for a while. Music is good, sounds good. All right. So last time we played, um, Sarah, I have to turn this down on my headphones. Um, Sarah said we're about to get into a big event TM. So I'm excited. Bailey's is my favorite character. I know he is not everybody's favorite character, but he's my favorite character. Uh, last we left off, because we kind of stopped midday, is Bailey's came in. Um, we were kind of just chit-chatting. Um, Freya, our sweet, sweet pixie darling, uh, has not slept. So instead of giving her normal espresso, uh, we gave her uh, a bedchamber to make sure she gets some sleep. All right. I guess you should. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, no. Oh, no, oh, no, no. Okay. Well, I got to move this over a little bit. Okay. Not sure whether I should thank it or not, though. Hi, Lua. Lua and Bailey's are dating, uh, but are going through a really rough time right now. Hi, Bailey's. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. How, how? Dot, dot, dot. You first. No, you first. Sarah Serrani says, there's going to be some talk about racism here. FYI. Dot, dot, dot. I was going to ask, how are you doing? I'm fine, thanks. How about you? I'm good, yeah. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Hmm, I think I need to order something first. Oh, of course, of course. Go ahead. Sorry, I need to move stuff because my microphone's in the way and I can't read stuff. Hi, Meredith. What are you having this evening, Miss Lua? Gingerbread coffee, please. Okay, so it's gonna be coffee. Gingerbread, oh. ginger, obviously, but is it double ginger? Hmm. Uh. It's not cinnamon. Is it cinnamon? We're gonna try cinnamon. I just want to say I got that on my own and I'm very proud of myself. I am very, very proud of myself. Holy cats. Oh, this is really nice. I got it. Oh my gosh. Holy, holy cats. I did it. I got it in one. Oh my gosh. Everyone's celebrating in the chat. Great job, Meredith. Woo. The crowd goes well. Ah. Oh, I'm so excited. Here it is. Thank you. My grandma used to make this drink for me. It reminds me so much of her. It reminds me of when I was growing up with my family. Dot, dot, dot. How's work? It's going pretty okay. I'm sorry. Bailey's and Gala and Hyde are my favorite characters. Who I have not seen Gala and Hyde in like 45 days and I miss them very much. You? I'm not taking any new jobs on at the moment. Because, well, you know. Yeah. I get it. 
You have enough in your savings, right? That is a very Lua thing to ask. But yeah, I do. Thanks to that last annoying job. Steve Mullis Art has subscribed at tier one. They subscribed for nine months and said, sub baby, congratulations on your sub baby. And thank you very much. It went well in the end. It kind of did. They paid me on time at least. And the pay was amazing. How long are you planning to take a break for? I don't know. Until my problems are settled, I guess. And what problems are those? Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. I'll tell you this. But don't tell anyone, okay? Not even Meredith, who's standing right in front of us. Not even Meredith. Okay. So there's this girl. I love her. We've been going out for a few years. But I'm not really sure where we stand now. How can you not be sure? We had an argument about a week ago. It wasn't anything new. But somehow things escalated uncontrollably. Why is that? I assume... Both of us were just tired. Knowing that we're fighting against centuries of tradition. We haven't really talked since our last fight. Leaving things unresolved is not a good idea. But I can't bring myself to start the conversation. Why? Even I'm not sure about that. Pride, maybe. Or tiredness. I see that the chat is bursting into bare naked ladies uh, for the one week it's been since <laughs> y'all are the worst. <laughs> and that's why we adore having you here, but y'all are literally the worst. <laughs> or knowing that chances are we won't be able to find the best solution for everyone anyway. Sarah Serende says, uh, asterisk best, yes, best, yes, yes, Sarah, I know. <laughs> no, everyone in this chat is amazing. Uh, Lua, dot, dot, dot. Bailey's. I have a question. Go ahead. What do you think she's feeling right now? To be honest, I don't know. She's not like me, that's for sure. Thankfully. Why? At least it won't affect her professional life that much. I'm glad I'm a freelancer. It means I can just take a break from work without any problems. I'm not as professional as her, you say. I think you're wrong. Really? If I were her, I would find it difficult to live life as usual. But I'd put on a lot of mess. Just to hide the feelings I was going through. That sounds difficult and uncomfortable. It is. But a friend told me once. You gotta do what you gotta do. He must be a pretty cool guy. He is. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. <sighs> What's next for us, Baileys? I don't know, Lua. I met some new people this week including that supermodel. You knew. That girl in the corner told me. Yeah, including that supermodel. And how does that make you feel? Have a good night, Steve. Thanks for coming by. Like a fool. What? He said a lot of things that I've been trying to avoid thinking about. A lot of truths. He's a bit like you, you know. Attitude-wise. You get along with him. Doubt it. 
Opposites attract, but similarity breeds contempt. Ever heard that before? A lot. From a certain hipster elf. And after listening to that guy, what's your stance on, you know, us? I'm not sure, Baileys. What about you, yourself? Had any similar experiences this week? I have, in fact. You met a vampire, and I met a werewolf. Hee <laughs> hee. What are the odds? What are the odds, indeed? What did your werewolf say? Hmm. Not much, to be honest. But he made a good point about the importance of family. Bailey's. I know I've been stubborn about you wanting me to make peace with my family. And I know why that's very important for you. But Freya said something that kind of hit me hard. What was it? I was just using you as an excuse to escape my family. When I actually want to do that anyway for myself dot 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 you know me Baileys I do and you know how I feel uncomfortable with people leaving their families which makes me an asshole I guess I get why you think that way Lua blood is thicker than water dot 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 what should we do? Lua. Yes, Baileys. Please let me leave my family. I'll try to get your family to accept me. That sounds like the easier thing to do after all. But you'll lose your immortality. You'll be an outcast among other elves. An outcast from a bunch of overly pretentious people sounds great. You live a long time, but you won't have the perfect health and perfect life. That's the elven privilege, but it's not a perfect life without you. Dot, dot, dot. What if our relationship doesn't last? You'll have lost everything. You'll blame me. Lua, I will never blame you for anything. If we're talking about who I used to be, that guy would never have blamed himself. A hundred reasons for why something failed, but never anything to do with him. But that won't happen with us. You know why? Because I've learned so many things by being with you for 10 years. It made me a better person. So you don't need to worry about any of that. Because right now, you're the most important part of my life. I don't need an immortal life. Because without you, it won't be a life worth living. Ugh. Okay. Paley's. I... I believe in you. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, God. Okay, this game is great. Oh. Lua. Oh, the achievement unlocked is love of my life, and it's them. Oh, man. Bailey's. I feel like we're living in a soap opera. It seems so. What's our plan? Tomorrow's Saturday. Are we going on a date? I'm going to my parents' place. Oh. And I want you to come with me. What? That's so sudden. Did you already have plans for tomorrow? Well, no. It's just... I'm not prepared to meet them. You'll be fine. You don't want to tell them about this first. But it'll be alright. Well, they never forbade you from dating other races. They're not big fans of elves, that much is true. But you can prove them wrong. 
Hmm. Okay. This could be a good first step. It is. It's set then. I don't know what'll happen tomorrow. But we can think about it. And anything else? Later. I'm with you on that. So, does that mean you don't mind me? I had my doubts. But now I'm sure. I can trust you. Lua. Thank you. Are you still staying at Farron's house? Yeah. You're staying with me tonight. Huh? What about your roommate? She's away for the weekend. Taking a long weekend getaway until Sunday night. Fate is on our side, it seems. Hey, Meredith. Yes? We're leaving. Thank you so much for keeping up with us this past week. The pleasure was mine. We're off, then. See you. Thank you for coming. Aw, oh, you cute kids. <sighs> dot, dot, dot. That was pretty intense. Oh, you're back in real world. I just pretend not to notice. They're like one of the main reasons why I'm writing this story. So I have to see their struggle through till the end. It's important for the writing, you know. That's cold. What? It's not like that. It's just that... Yeah, that was cold. I'm sorry. You look better than before, though. For now. I can't tell you how I feel until it's done. And I don't... Oh no. Is that Gala? Oh no. Whoa. Freya, get over here. This wolf? Is that him? I, th I think so. Welcome, sir. Are you crazy? You can't treat a werewolf in a f uh, fury like a normal customer. Trust me. He must have his reasons for coming here. Dot, dot, dot. Oh my gosh, please let him serve me serve him a string so I can help him. You can relax, sir. Do you need anything? Something to calm you down, maybe? Oh, good job, barista Meredith. Dot, dot, dot. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Oh, no, no, let me go on the brew pad. Oh my gosh, I don't remember the drink. Oh no, let me go on the brew pad. I don't remember it. Oh, could anyone in chat please remember what Gala had? Oh, Sarah Serena, that's why I asked on Tuesday if you remembered Sarah. Oh, you can still trash it once if you want to try, but Sarah, I don't remember anything in it. You can just tell me because this poor, beautiful man wolf is having a really rough time. Uh, I think it was coffee, right? Uh, uh, freaking no. No, 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 no. It wasn't coffee because it's supposed to calm down. So tea. Was it cinnamon or ginger? 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 I'm gonna try ginger.
Oh, Jesus Christ, serve it. Here's your... Oh, thank you, chat, for telling me what it is. <laughs> Just in case. Oh. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Kala, are you okay? What the hell? Is that really him? After seeing the reaction to the drink? 100%. Well, whoever he is. It's Gala, Freya! This place survived. Thankfully, yes. But I think I need to close up shop early. Don't want to cause any more ruckus. And I need to clean up some of the mess anyway. Good idea. Can you get back all right by yourself? I'll manage. Take care of on your way back. You be careful too. See you tomorrow. See you. Ooh, that was like back to, ooh, ooh. Had this like beautiful like romance and then like gala. Oh my gosh, ooh, press any key. Saturday, October 3rd, 2020. Bridstein Company criticized for unfair depictions of werewolf in their latest box office hit. Couchella, 2020, do's and don'ts. Atlantic ambassador in talks with fire regarding immigration. Oh my gosh. Welcome. Hey, Meredith. Good evening, Freya. You look very cheerful today. And it's all thanks to you. What did I do? He he he. I finally got a good night's sleep last night. Like, I slept like a log. A proper 12 hours of closing my eyes not thinking about anything. Good for you. You really needed that. I know. But I had the deadline coming. And I've been pushing myself to finish this draft. A bit too much, I guess. So, how's it going now? You won't believe this? I probably will. But when I woke up this afternoon, the words just flowed through me like water. And not forced crap like I've been writing recently. And that's why taking a break is important. That is why taking a break is important, Chad. And YouTubers. Take breaks. You deserve them, and they are very, very good. And it's okay to take what you need, even if it's small or it's big, you deserve it. Yeah, yeah. You don't need to start lecturing me now. Okay, first of all, Freya, don't, didn't ask for it. Second of all, don't need your attitude. I have one of my own. <laughs> so what's your plan now? Now, as in right at this moment, I'm planning to go to the bathroom and wash my face. And after that, I'll continue writing. Sounds like a plan. You know where the restroom is. Okay, I need something to drink now. Freya, you're unemployed. Don't waste your money on a coffee shop drinks. This is so, that is so weird. Coming from the coffee shop owner. I know. You've been a regular for years. If you only need the vibes of this place, just right here. No, I can't do that. You don't have any customers tonight. What would I do if this place went bankrupt? It won't happen. How can you be so sure? Just take this tap water and go do your work, okay? But... See? There's a customer coming right now. 
so don't you worry about me. Gala! My buddy! Oh! Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Hi, Gala. Dot, dot, dot. What's wrong? I know you're a man of few words. But this is maybe pushing it a bit. Dot, dot, dot. Freya. Meredith. Hi, Gala. I'm truly very sorry for what happened yesterday. It's okay, it's not your fault. You can't help it. Gala. Hey, it's all right. No one got hurt, right? And the coffee shop's fine. Don't think about it too much, Gala. Like Freya said, no casualties and no problems with the coffee shop. Gala, it's not your fault. It's okay. I still need to redeem myself for the mess I made and the scare I gave you. I'm sure there's something I can do. Just be wonderful and amazing you. Hmm. Why don't you buy something for the lady here? I'm sure she'll appreciate it. Hey, what do you mean? Do you want anything to drink for you? No. It's all right, Gala. I insist. You don't have to. Please accept it. At least it'll help me stop feeling guilty. At least a little. All right, all right. I wouldn't mind a coffee. Not espresso, mind you. Something with a little less of a kick. You know how to make sugar and spice? The one with cinnamon? Yes. A cup of sugar and spice, please. Okay. So it's coffee, cinnamon, and then honey probably, because it's sugar and spice. Spice is the cinnamon. Right? Let's find out. Oh, oh, stretch it. <laughs> Yeah, because the spice could be ginger, too. So we know it definitely, 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 definitely has cinnamon. It has coffee. I wonder if it's the order I did it in. I'm going to try that next. And if not, then I'm going to move on to ginger. Get the hang of this barista thing. Sugar and spices for the lady with the vices. Hey. Oh well, I won't complain. Thank you, Gala. Don't mention it. Meredith, are you sure there's nothing I can do for you? You don't have to do anything, Gala. It's literally not your fault. It's fine. Dot, dot, dot. But to be honest, I'm curious. What happened yesterday? Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, you usually stay indoors during the full moon, don't you? I usually do. But there was an emergency at the hospital yesterday. What kind of emergency? Hmm. The hospital was really packed yesterday. After that announcement. Announcement? The one saying that a replacement government-issued fury sedative would be available soon. Releasing that news on the day of the full moon was just... stupid. So many restless werewolves came, asking about the sedative, which isn't ready yet. But the announcement said it wasn't ready, just that it was coming soon. Do you think people read the whole article? They only saw the headline or glanced at it at the news stall. Then they went straight to the hospital. I don't blame them, though. Finding out that the only publicly available sedative is dangerous. It's difficult for some people. I ended up having to explain it to a dozens of werewolves. I even had to put some rogue werewolves in the isolation rooms. It was that bad, huh? 
Yeah, to the point where we ran out of rooms to put them in. That's why, at the end of my shift, I left immediately. Normally, I'd have to ask a friend to lock me in one of our isolation rooms, of course. But I couldn't, so I rushed right back to my apartment. But it was too late. Thankfully, I was in this area. And I managed to force myself to come to your place. Gala, excuse me for asking this. Yes. But you didn't hurt anyone on the way here, right? As far as I remember, no. I didn't see any blood on my clothes. That's good to hear. That might sound overly confident, considering what happened yesterday. But I have enough control to make sure I don't hurt anyone. As long as I have something to direct my fury towards. Ugh, I love Gala so much. Usually, I end up destroying stuff around me. Or, worst case, hurting myself. Oh, buddy. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Despite all of that, I'm so glad that no one got hurt. Always looking for the positive side, aren't you? Just doing my job. Thanks, both of you. I really mean it. But please, if there's anything I can do to pay... I mean, if there's anything I can do to help, please don't hesitate to ask me right away. Will do. In the meantime, can I order a drink? Sure. What are you having? The same as yesterday. Oh, crap. I already forgot what it was. It's tea, milk, and ginger. Yes. Here's your special brew. Thank you. Dot, dot, dot. The drink that saved me. Once again, thank you for helping me find this drink. By the way, Gala, now that you can be 100% sure that your drink is your natural sedative, why don't you put some in a bottle and carry it with you everywhere? That's the plan. It has to be warm, though. I can use a vacuum flask, I suppose. I'll give it a try next full moon. Dot, dot, dot. Don't worry, Freya. I'm going to stay at my place for the next full moon. I'm not taking any risks. Before I can make sure how effective that remedy is. Phew. What the? R Rachel? What's going on? Ha. What else? Your, your father? Of course. What the hell was he thinking? Coming backstage at Coachella. Couchella. Just to get into an argument with my manager. Huh? Before we continue, Meredith, a cafe latte, please. Uh, cafe latte is... A latte is espresso and milk, so a cafe latte would be... Oh, Sarah says I have this one in my app. Thank you for that. Oh, we haven't touched... Check the social medias. Gala. Anything Mormon made with ginger? Mm, I love him so much. I would literally do anything for him. Such a good bean. Clear this out. All right, a cafe latte. Yeah, coffee, milk, milk. Okay. Thank you, Sarah. Serve. Your cafe latte is ready. Oh, I didn't get to put art on it. Son of a biscuit. Thanks. How did he manage to get backstage? He told security he was my father. 
and he messaged me about coming beforehand. He said he was just going to wish me luck. So I told them to let him in, of course. He's still my father. Things were nice at first. Then my manager came. And, ugh. I don't know why he hates him so much. It's showbiz. I'm mature enough to know what's good or bad for me. Dot, dot, dot. What happened after that? Mr. Lester told the security guards to come out. He's still allowed in the festival area. I saw him in the crowds. Did the concert go well at least? Oh yeah. Other than the arguments backstage, everything was great. I was the first one to play on the main stage. Usually no one pays much attention to whoever's on first, but there were thousands of people in the audience during my session. Nice. So you don't need to be at the event anymore after this? Not really. I did my stage time. And then there was this press conference after my show. After show press conference? Yeah, pre-show was done yesterday. Today was a small one. There were almost a dozen journalists who wanted to interview me. So we decided to just do a mini conference. Good for you. You're totally back in the game, huh? I guess I am. Thanks to Mr. Lesser. I would say it's because of you. But your manager's probably worked some of the influence too. Ha ha ha. So why are you here? Ugh. Because a dad, of course. I told him to come here this evening. We really need to set things straight. He needs to stop messing with my manager so much. And because this evening is the only time we can meet, I can't go to the party Mr. Lester is hosting. What party? He's hosting a party for the VIP and artists he managed. Is at a club in Belltown. Is it okay for you to go to the party without a guardian? I'm 18, remember? I'm an adult. Yeah, but you can only enter some clubs if you're 21. Not this time. Because Mr. Lester is my manager and it's his party. Hmm. I'm not sure about that. It's true. No, I know you can do that by using his name, but I don't think he should do that with you. Why? I'm an adult. No, you're not, Rachel. Have you ever been to one of Lester's parties? Well, no. You have? Not personally. I've heard stories. What stories? He knows how to party. That's good then. Hmm, that's not necessarily a good thing. Knowing how to party. Might mean something else entirely. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. You'll find out. Especially if you keep Lester on as your manager. Personally, I don't mind wild parties. But inviting an underage person to his party? That might be a bit too far. Welcome- Huh? Oh my gosh, she turned into a cat. Oh. Oh, Henry. Oh, buddy. Oh no. What the hell? Oh no. Dad. What? Rachel, is that Mr. Henry? Yes. Dad, what happened? Meredith, can you get a cup of milk for him, please? Just milk? Just milk. Meow. Oh my gosh. Oh no, Henry. Oh, his poor eye. Here. Oh. Thank you. Dad, please hold on. Can somebody please call an ambulance, please? They're on their way. I've contacted the hospital. Thank you. 
I've also contacted our Niku Mimi expert personally. She's off shift right now. But she's also on the way. Thank you so much. Ella Fred says, Hey Meredith, I was poking around on a certain RPG's website and I saw a quote from you. Just a nice surprise. Oh, that's really wonderful. I hope it's a... Oh, <laughs> a certain RPG's, RPG's website. I see, I see. Very, very cool. Thank you for sharing that. Um, I don't know what might have happened without your help. Don't mention it. Dot, dot, dot. Here they come. I'll go with you. Okay. Oh boy. That was really something. Sarah Sorende says, so fun fact, if you don't give Gala the right drink the day before, he's still okay, but today goes a bit differently. Oh, that's really interesting and cool. I like that. Uh, that was really something, huh? Yeah. Two days in a row. An emergency at your place. Well, at least some people think of your place as their go-to when they need help. You're right. It's not every day you look at things from the bright side. Ha. Well, I'm one of your coffee shop disciples, right? So, I kind of understand them. I hope Henry's all right. Me too. At least he's in good hands now. What's your plan for the rest of the night? Well, that was all pretty hectic. But I need to continue writing. Take your time and place then. Will do. Oh my gosh, everything is like really intense all the time. Midsummer Night's Dream is my favorite um, Shakespearean play. Fun. Member effect. Sunday, October 4th, 2020. Police raid on private Coachella after party is biggest drug and sex related bust of the year. Holy cats. Fight broke out during co uh, Couchella. I keep wanting to say Coachella. Culprits in police custody. Oh no, I hope Mr. Hendry's okay. Oh no. Despite the arrest, Couchella will go on. Welcome. Hey, Pop. Good evening, everyone. Everyone's safe and sound tonight? So far, so good. With the cop who's supposed to be watching this area hanging out in a coffee shop? I'm not so sure about that. Hey, I'm working right now. I just love multitasking, you know? That requires skill. Taking a break and working at the same time, you mean? You know it. That's an oxymoron. That's why I said it requires skill. Anyway, Meredith, I really need an espresso to keep me awake tonight. Boom, 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 boom. An energetic espresso to keep our officer upright on patrol. Heh, <laughs> you and your sense of humor. Your espressos are always out of this world. Definitely better than mine or my wife's. It's not a competition, officer. Ha, it is for her. She thought if she could make a better one, I'd stop coming to this place so often. Oh, That's not happening anytime soon. So, anything special today? Surprisingly, no. Gotta make sure this place is safe, though. What are you grinning about? I mean it. You were here the last two days, right? 
Yes, I was. And some crazy things happened here. And two days in a row. As if the gods were trying to give me first-hand experience to use in my story. Still fretting over your story, eh? Well, the deadline of my draft is getting nearer. Oh, yeah. How's it going? Quantity-wise, it's shaping up pretty well. Quality-wise, honestly, I'm pretty confident. Best of luck, then. Do you have any updates about the last two days of chaos? For the werewolf case? I spoke to Gala about it. What? Are you going to arrest him? Some officers at the precinct were talking about it. But in the end, we agreed not to do it. Good. Because he really helped a lot that night. And also, it's not his fault. We asked the folks in the hospital and some other people in the area. Without him, we'd have had a lot more problems. He helped a lot getting most of the werewolves safe in the hospital. Too bad he couldn't lock himself up in time. Thankfully, he didn't hurt anyone. So, those who'd rather detain him can't do anything anyway. <sighs> I'd be pretty mad at you if they did arrest him. Hey, being mad at me wouldn't solve anything. I know. What about Rachel's dad? Any idea what happened? I'm not too sure myself. Most of it didn't happen around here. What? Yeah, it seems like it happened out near Coachella. Coachella. <laughs> That's a long way away. I mean, it's not actually that far. But he wouldn't be able to walk it, not in that state. So far, that's all I know. <gasps> Rachel's back. Rachel. Rachel. Is Mr. Henry all right? Before that, could I have a cup of hot chocolate? Dark. Okay, so dark would be... Right? That's milk chocolate, so that's not right. Sarah says we should have a recipe for this, too. If you need it. Hold on. The social media is happening. Rachel. I love my family, cats, milk, and you. It sounds like something I would say. <sighs> okay. Let's see. Oh, we do. It's chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Thank you, Sarah, for that. Because if not, we were going to be here for several hours. Your hot chocolate's ready. Thank you. Dot, dot, dot. Dad's going to be fine. He woke up this afternoon. Thanks to Mr. Gala. He got help. Oh, the achievement is father and daughter. Y'all can't see this. And it's, uh, um, it's him. It's Mr. Henry holding her when she's a baby. It's very sweet. He got help fast enough to stop getting things worse. He's doing okay then. It'll take a few days before he fully recovers. But no permanent injuries we need to worry about. That's good to hear. Sarah, you can always view the achievements in this game menu at some point if you'd like. They're just not on Steam. Thank you. I know. But still, it's all because of me. It, because I didn't listen to him. When he wanted to do was protect me. Rachel. 
don't blame yourself for this. Please don't take offense. But is it okay for you to leave your father alone in the hospital? His friends are there at the moment. And I can't face being stuck in a room with a bunch of people I don't even know right now. Besides, I really needed to get away for a bit. Did you drop your manager, Rachel? So I told Dad I'm going to visit a coffee talk to get some fresh air. He's okay with that? He understands. He always does, I guess. Miss Rachel. What really happened that night? Dad got into a fight with some thugs. He heard them talking about me. In some very suggestive, perverted ways. Oh. He didn't like that, of course. So he morphed into his cat form. And started a fight with the thugs. Why did he morph? Dot, dot, dot. So people wouldn't see what his human form looked like and link him directly to me. Oh, this is like, ooh, like I got like the sad goosebumps. Okay. Some cops went to the crime scene. They found some eyewitnesses to testify and they managed to find the thugs. Are they fans of yours? No, it's even worse. Are they friends of your garbage manager that you should fire? They work for Mr. Lester. Of course they do. What? Oh boy. The reason why it didn't take long for the cops to find them was because they were already under arrest. Because the party went too far last night. Whoa. How did it all connect up? They're Mr. Letter Lester's bodyguards. They were chilling after the show, having a pre-party before the big one. And you know about guys and locker room talk, right? Yeah. Well, that's what they were doing. And I was the topic of discussion. Ugh. So there's that. I'm sorry to hear that. And you're right about his party. I'm glad I wasn't there. Once again, I owe dad for... Dot, dot, dot. Hey, it's okay. The most important thing right now is that you're safe. And your dad made it through. I should have listened to him. He might be out of touch, but he's still way more experienced than me. And he's my father. I wish mom was here. She'd know what to do. She'd know what to say to dad when he's recovered. Dot, dot, dot. You know what? I'm sure you'll know what to do. You're an adult, remember? But I don't know. All I know is I have to be there for him when... That's it. That's all you have to do. Might be weird to hear it about something coming from Freya, but she is right. Be there when he needs you, Rachel. And whenever you need a brush of fresh air, you can come here and relax for a while. Dot, dot, dot. Guys, thank you. I've had enough fresh air for one day. I'll go back to the hospital now. Thank you for the update, Miss Rachel. I wish your father a speedy recovery. Thank you, Meredith. Man, what a weekend. Pretty crazy, I know. Anyway, I gotta continue my patrol. It's been a pretty weird weekend. But overall, things are still safe around here. But even with that, never let your guard down, okay? No problem, officer. Thank you for checking up on us, Officer Georgie. Okay then, see you. Are you going to leave as well, Freya? I don't think so. I've had enough rest. And I have stories to write. You're not tired? Definitely not. 
Asset Redeem Community Hydrate Check and Community Posture Check. Hydrate or dehydrate. In fact, I think I can get it done today. Hmm. All right. I won't bother you then. Oh, you're never a bother. Besides, this whole book project would never have existed without this place. And you. So, thank you. The pleasure was mine. Now, I'm sure you shouldn't spend any more time on Chit Chat. You got a book to finish. Hee hee hee. No problem, boss. Two weeks later. More women have spoken out and claimed Morris Lester lied. Initial reports indicate possible herpes outbreak at Coachella. Coachella Festival proves to be a major boost for Seattle tourism. Hello! You're finally here. Hey, all. Hey, yo. Hi, Freya. Huh? Someone's feeling happy today. Of course. Did they... They approved it. We're so happy for you. Congrats. Oh, my. Do you know how happy I am? Judging from your expression? I'd say somewhere between ecstatically and rapturously. You're goddamn right. Oh my god. Oh my god. How do they react to the draft? To be honest, they're not that excited about the story itself. A story with an unhappy ending, huh? That's what they said. But at this point, I don't really care. As long as they publish it. I'm content with that. Anyway... Whatever happens with the book now, I can take things a little slower. Because they gave me a year to finish it. With a feedback session every month. Sounds professional enough? Of course. They are the biggest publisher around. Enough about me. How's the copy shop been doing? It's been great. We've had a lot of new customers lately. And some old timers, of course. I heard Hyde's back from his trip to Korea. Yeah. He brought us some gifts back. Oh, Hyde. He didn't get any for me? I'm not sure. But he did say he always gives gifts directly. Gift giving the old fashioned way, huh? How about you? Things are great. Last time I saw you was before your mini break? Yes, we decided to go to Couchella. Wow. The event was a mess. Hee hee hee. Yeah, three hours of the festival was enough for us. Where did you go after that? We ended up in Port Townsend. Well, how was it? I enjoyed it. Never knew a historical trip could be fun. Oh yeah, I saw your new profile picture, Aqua. You both look cute. Oh, what? What? Oh my goodness! Oh, I love this very much. Oh, I love this very, very, very much. Oh, this makes me so happy. Oh my gosh, this is so sweet. Anyone else change their stuff? Henry, how are you doing? Oh, that's the, that's the picture of the achievement. Oh my gosh. Oh. 
she have anything new? You both look so cute. Oh man. Hee <laughs> hee, thanks. Was that taken during your vacation? No. It was at Max. They had a Japanese style photo booth there. So I forced her to take pictures together. You were at Max too, Myrtle? Yeah. I helped her out a bit with the booth. Thank you. You don't have to keep thanking me. By the way, have any of you heard from Neil? No? Not me? They did send two postcards to the coffee shop. Really? Yeah, one's from Coachella. Couchella. That's not even that far away. <laughs> um, why send a postcard? Hard to tell with them. What about the second one? It's from New York. What? What are they doing in New York? Beats me? Working on their mission, maybe. Huh, yeah, probably. They'd stand more of a chance there. Anyway, guys. We're leaving for the night. Oh, come on. So soon? We were here for hours before you arrived. And we need to work tomorrow. Fair enough. Take care on your way, then. Good luck with the novel. Thanks. See you, Meredith. See you around. They look happier than when I first met them. They do. It's not easy to find someone you can be comfortable with in such a short amount of time. Yeah. Anyway, <clears throat> sorry if it seems like I'm ignoring you, Baileys. No worries. I don't feel ignored at all. Are you by yourself tonight? No, I'm waiting for Lua. She has some work to do. This late at night? Yeah. She's been doing overtime for the past few days. How are the two of you doing? Things have been great. In fact, after 10 years together, we're finally moving in together next month. Wow, congrats. But I thought Lua lived with her flatmate. We're moving to a new place. She got promoted recently. Oh, good for her. And her company's providing her with an apartment. Wow, she must be a really big deal in her office. Well, she definitely earns more than me. That's not saying much, Baileys. You shouldn't say that to a fellow freelancer. Oh, here she comes. Baileys, I'm so sorry. I didn't expect it to take so long. I thought it would be done by... Honey. It's all right. Freya and Meredith have been keeping me company anyway. Oh, hey, Freya. And Meredith. Sorry for barging in without saying hi. How's it going? I would say things are great. But not as great as you two lovebirds. You told her already. Only about the moving in part. As you've heard, we're going to move in together next month. Where is it? Not far. I mean, the company's provided the place. So they want to cut my commuting costs as much as possible. That's thoughtful of them. It means they don't need to reimburse my taxi fees when I'm working overtime. Oh yeah, that too. It also means we get to visit this place more often. That's a good point. We owe this coffee shop a lot anyway. Don't mention it. I have a question for both of you. Go on. The last time we met, I believe you were going to introduce Bailey's to your parents. How did it go? Man. 
Her father didn't kill me, at least. Well, at least Papa let you eat lunch with us. That's rare, you know. I know. And at least they didn't say no. Which means a lot, I guess. It was a good start. It was definitely a good start. Anyway, Bailey's. We need to go now. Or we'll miss the intro again. You folks going somewhere? Yeah, we're gonna watch the midnight screening of Full Metal Conflict. I didn't take you for someone who likes FMC, Lua. I don't know, but this guy does. Loves it. <laughs> that was just a bleh, word salad. I don't, but this guy loves it. Hey, you always enjoyed watching me play the game. I enjoyed watching you, not the game. Too bad I didn't introduce you to Myrtle just now, Bailey's. She worked on the game. Really? Oh, well, I'll be visiting this place more often. I'll probably meet her again one of these days. You probably will. Now go, you lovebirds. You don't want to miss the movie. All right. Catch up with you later, Freya. Bye, Meredith. Enjoy the movie. There they go. I'm so happy for them. They still got a long way to go. And probably a lot of obstacles in their path. But they're moving forward. Yes. How will you write their story? As it is. It's beautiful enough. And it has enough drama. Ha. That's one way to put it. Anyway. Dot, dot, dot. What's the look for? You haven't told me about any of our other friends here. How are they doing? You only skipped coming for 10 days. What do you expect? Come on, they played an important part in my writing process, remember? Well, there are some updates about the regulars. Tell me, tell me. Where should we start? Lua visits the place more often now that they live nearby. The last time they came, they were talking about catering and venues. I love this little... Oh, I love this. Hyde returned from his trip to Korea and brought gifts. Some are more special than others. He said he's considering moving back to Seattle if his agency allows it. Aqua continues her work with the university. She's still working on small indie games. The difference is she's not alone now. Oh. <laughs> Neil. The only news about them are the two postcards they sent me. <laughs> Rachel's back at the recording studio preparing for her first solo album. She found a new manager, someone who made the news as a legend coming back to the industry. Oh. And finally, Freya. She's finished her book, got published, and has some signing sessions. Sadly, the book didn't sell well. She still visits regularly, now working as a freelance writer, not giving up on the blah, it's gone. Oh my gosh, what a great game, y'all. Oh my goodness. This game was awesome. I really, really enjoyed it. And then, obviously, I, if I wanted to, I could do another playthrough and see how things go. Um, I highly recommend the second playthrough either on stream or off. There is a second one coming. It's called um, <sighs> Hibiscus, I believe. Coffee Talk Part 2. Hibiscus and Butterfly. It's brewing for 2023. <gasps> There's a demo! Do y'all want to see if I should download the demo right now? Should we play the demo? Because we got like half an hour. Okay. 
Okay, well, I'm gonna skip the credits then, y'all. Just so everyone is aware. I don't like skipping the credits. Because... I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. I feel like, like, Jacob's over my shoulder, like, don't skip the credits! Because it's important to see everybody. <sighs> hey, is that... Is that Brian? That's our Brian. That's our Brian. That's very sweet. He got a special thing. So I'll have to mention that to him. I'm gonna ping him and be like, did you know? He probably knows. Yeah, we got half an hour. Let's do it. It's gonna download super fast. What a flippin' good game. And I like, too, that it's... And you, that's me! Oh my gosh, that's me! <laughs> that's like PBS when it's like, and viewers like you, and you're like, it's me! Oh, this was a very sweet and wonderful and beautiful... Oh my gosh. Welcome. Hello, Meredith. Good evening, sir. Um, have we met before? I'm sure this is your first time here. Of course I've been here. In fact, I've worked here before. What? Wait. No way. Is that really you? It's been a while. You've changed a bit too much. I've learned a lot about how to live with your people since then. I assume it was a success then? Multiple successes. What's with the new look, then? Just trying to blend in. It seems like an Earthling immigration agency is after me. Now that you mention it, somebody did visit this place looking for you. When was it? Not so long after your second visit here. Was he a bald guy in a suit? Yes. That F-I-R-E agent? You've seen him? Yes. Thankfully, I've changed my appearance since then. By the way, you can drop the act in front of me. Dot, dot, dot. So you finally noticed. To think that such power can be born from our kind. You're good with your act, though. It took a few tries. But there are some timelines where I... Where I forget to pretend that I don't have some knowledge of certain stuff. Interesting. Now I'm curious to know about those mistakes. Well, it happened a few times. First, when Frey told me about her meeting in the elevator. Then, it was the first time Rachel visited this place. And the last one involved you on your second visit. Huh? Huh? Oh, and there was another one right after Freya got her draft approved. Can you show it to me? Assuming you know how I communicate with my kind. Never tried it, but let's see. You've beaten the main story of the game, but you haven't seen everything yet. Coffee talk, achievement unlocked. Is that it? <laughs> okay, all right, we're going. Wild ending, too. What are the extras? Meredith, don't get distracted. Oh, it's all the artwork. That's all their pictures. That's very cute. The artwork is just so good. Like, it's it's so very good. Ooh, this one's locked. Neil is... Very cool. This is very cute. Well, that's all of them. Oh, concept art. Very interesting. 
Concept art is very cool because you could, not all the time, but a lot of time, you'll see like how drastic it can change. As we see with Gala. It's wild to see like other hair cuts too, because I'm like, I can't even imagine. Hmm. Oh, jeez. That's wild. Completely different. We missed one photo one singular and I find it interesting that it's during these so it must be it's either gala or it's I don't know okay back oh is this a whole comic yeah these are like several comics Achievements. Yeah, we're missing some. Spend a total of one hour making latte art. Uh, okay. Serve 10 correct drinks in a single session of a challenge mode. What a waste. Trash a total of 25 drinks. I thought it was very close. Serve 25 correct drinks in a single session of challenge mode. Unlock all special drinks. Unlock all character social media profiles. Serve 50 correct drinks in a single session or challenge mode. Unlock all artworks in the gallery. Oh, wow, thank you, I guess. <laughs> Unlock all achievements, and then question mark. All right. Okay. Uh, someone posted the Steam. The Steams. Eh. Okay, download. Yes, Steam is installed. Uh, open Steam. Is it going to open Big Steam? Probably is going to open Big Steam. Next. Yes, create a desktop shortcut. Oh my gosh, y'all, I'm so excited. This is gonna be great. It's downloading. 90% hundro. We have to adjust the sound again, so one second. Uh, English, y'all can't see this yet because it is full screen, so one moment, please. Is this, sorry, it is real loud. I'm like not trying to do that on purpose. One second. Better? Yeah, thanks y'all for being patient with that because it's a new game, so it's got new sound. Good? All right. Back. I didn't realize it was playing for y'all. I was like, oh, I'll just adjust this down before they even notice. Very sorry about that. All right. What's your name? Uh, Flippin' Meredith. Yes. 
Okay, we got 30 minutes to play this. Seattle, 2023. A city of the enduring loneliness. A place where the dreamers, the realists, and the weary are striving to thrive and not just to survive. It is a time when society is reevaluating what it means to be alive. It's a moment when history is questioned and traditions are challenged. Old classification laws are confronted by those who are striving for fairness. For the right to be acknowledged in a society rife with judgments. Acceptance is a battle and identity is a luxury they just began to grasp. Many who are feeling lost turn to their screens to find their footing. Oh, we had this problem last time where I read way too fast and I was like, and then? <laughs> and the world becomes fast paced with increased connectivity. Whether for work or pleasure, for a little encouragement or simply to escape. It is unclear whether or not it helps or further isolates them. As some look for answers off the beaten path, seeking bittersweet comforts to help pass on lonely nights. In a night blooming coffee shop standing between the rainy streets, they'd find a small respite through a cup of warm drink. And these are their stories. Sometime in 2023. Massive job loss at large companies move out of state. What's next? Seattle West Precinct Police is losing a record number of officers in January. Social experiments skirting between entertainment and menace. Dot, dot, dot. I guess this will go on for a while. Officer Georgie! Welcome! Evening, Meredith. What's cracking? Alright, hold on. There's, like, stuff. Is that a suitcase? Freya postcard for Officer Georgie. It looks like she left him a message. Okay, I have a suitcase now. Oh, it's a, um, cash, cash drawer. Officer Georgie. We start again. Oh, liked by Freya Faye. That's cute. Good morning. Let's do our best. Okay. Two hour delay. Not a problem. Travel coffee shop. Liked by Georgie. That's very, very cool. That's cool that it's more interactive. Um, more like Instagrammy in that regard. <gasps> I can like it. I'm gonna like everybody's stuff. Did I get to keep? It'd be very cool if I got to keep my rollover stuff. Oh wow, there's like more. Oh, there's. Are those flowers? They look like flowers to me. What's cracking? Aside from the thunder outside, that is. I'd say the power lines. Probably. Yeah. What about them? Oh. That's a concern. The power kept going in and out all night. Our machines couldn't even heat up properly. That bad, huh? Sorry. I'll take your order as soon as the machines are ready. No problem. I guess our resident writer, Miss Green-Haired Fairy, isn't here tonight. You mean Freya? The one and only. 
Unless she's changed her hair color, then my bad. <sighs> Still the same. She won't be coming around for a while, I think. Oh? Why? She's currently on a research trip for her new book. That's so? At least, that's what she told me. That's too bad. The evenings won't be the same without her. No kidding. I admit, it's been pretty quiet around here. But it's good for her to escape the city once in a while, to have some time to herself. Ugh. Not looking too good, huh? Yeah, but I've already notified the city lights department. They said they'll monitor the area, just in case. Don't worry, Meredith. If anything happens, I'll lend you my trusty lighter. Your lighter? Uh-huh. Got it from my grandfather, a lucky charm of sorts. Never fail this in a pinch, not even once. Unless you need it lit up for longer than 10 seconds. Then you're on your own. It's the thought that counts. Don't cops usually carry around flashlights anyway? Oh, we do. But where's the thrill in that? Sounds like you need a vacation too. Do I ever? Goodness, finally. Thanks for waiting, I can take your order now. Great. I'm already done for the day, so no more coffee for me. Oh, no midnight patrol then? Just for tonight. Roger that. In that case, would you like to try one of our new tea selections instead? We have hibiscus and blue pea available. Hibiscus and blue what? Uh, blue pea? It's actually butterfly pea, but we call it blue pea for short. The color is really pretty. Huh. I had no idea you offer alternative stuff, Meredith. No judgment here, just saying. Alternative what? Da oh. It's it's pea as in pea pods. Oh. And not whatever else you thought it was. Got it. Whoops. Sure. I'll give it a shot. So remember my golden rule? Of course. No dairy for Officer Georgie. Correct. I'm sure you have all that info written down on your phone already. I want to say yes, but some of my notes went missing after I got my phone serviced a month ago. Whoops. Better write down everything you can remember then. Speaking of remembering, Freya actually left me something for you. That's so? All right. Then I'll have one of your new teas. I'll leave the choice up to you. Just keep it simple. Ooh, wow, it's, it is different. Okay. Let's do blue pea. Oh, we can only do milk and cinnamon. Okay. Very cool. It's a different interface. That's very, very cool. Oh. Better give Freya's stuff to Officer Georgie now before I forget. Oh, okay, you can give item. Proceed. Uh, latte art. Wait. Reset. No. Reset. Oh, someone, uh, I, I'm seeing right now, mentioned that there's milk in that. So we are going to trash it. That's my B. Okay, blue pea, blue pea, blue pea. Yeah, no milk. Thank you, chat. Okay. Give item. All right, serve it. Very good catch, y'all. Oh, a postcard, eh? Is she flexing on me or something? 
Oh, hmm. Dot, dot, dot. Huh. What is it? It appears she left me a message. What does it say? Nothing you need to worry about. Okay. Anyway, thanks for this. Give her my regards. You're welcome, and I will. All right, here you go. Wow. Is this stuff really safe to drink? What's with the color? I assure you it's completely safe to drink. Yeah, yeah, I'm just playing with you, Meredith. Surprisingly mild, huh? Usually people put lemon in it. I did change color, too. Really? Yep. Unfortunately, I'm out of lemons. Didn't have enough time to get any from the store. It's fine. I remember my youngest showed a video of something like that. You know, she's really into the new AG health stuff. I remember she made a drink from blue algae or something. To lower my cholesterol, she said. Problem was, it tasted like dirt. I still drank it all, though. Nice of her to think of your dad's health. Yeah, she's swell. Between you and me, though, I'll stick with coffee. But this one, I don't mind at all. Maybe I'll ask her about it later. Thanks. You're very welcome. What a storm. Got somewhere to be? I'm supposed to be home by now. My youngest has just finished all her remittals. <laughs> yeah. We found out for some reason or another she's been neglecting her studies. So let's just say I had a few things to say about that. How'd it go? It was a disaster. Oof. But she pulled through in the end, right? Yep. Except we haven't spoken to each other for over a month now. Sorry to hear that. Anyway, the missus plan to celebrate a little tonight. Making all the kids' favorite dishes, having her sisters over for dinner and all that. So I buy the dessert pies as an olive branch of sorts. Sounds like a good plan. But as you can see, I got no pies and I'm nowhere near home. Because of the storm. That and my car is busted. All the valve cores removed and tires deflated. What? How come? Just happens my car is the latest victim of a vandalism spree. That's a whole other thing going on. Rest easy though, we're on it. For now, I need to find a way to get home fast. You can't just drop that sort of fact and expect me to have no questions. Holy. By Zeus, what a disaster. Welcome. Hey, what's shaking? Evening, Pops. What's up? Thunderstorms, obviously. Touche. God, is the weather just awful? It's like someone up there doesn't care about their water bill or something. I'm glad you're open, though, else I'd be super soaked right now. Happy you made it in time. Would you like anything to drink? Something to warm you up? That'd be great, yeah. Oh, I'm Lucas, by the way. And you are? My name is Meredith. And the gentleman over there is Officer Georgie. Awesome. Nice to meet you, Pops. Can I call you Pops? Fine by me. Sweet. Uh-oh. Mrs. Calls. Ah. Huh? All right, be back. Wish me luck. Good luck. See ya. So, can I get a cafe latte? Sure. Or maybe not. Yes. You know what? I'm not sure. You tell me. You're the pro. Um Okay, okay, hear me out. You see, I liked coffee. 
Heck, I loved espresso. But at some point, my stomach turned against me and decided to just hate it. It's called turning 30, buddy. Like, really hate it, you know what I mean? Right. Anyway, milk helps take the edge off. That's why I've been ordering lattes and the like. But I just miss just coffee, you know? That's why I'm wondering if you can suggest me something. What was it about coffee that you miss? The caffeine, of course. And just the overall boldness, you know what I mean? Am I making sense? Have you ever tried matcha? Nope, but isn't that just green tea? Yes, but much more concentrated. Would you like to give it a try? Sure. Then one matcha for me, please. Interesting. So they show story, like whole stories now. I'm gonna like it. Write a book or challenge a professional boxer. So. Still a lactose intolerant, intolerant cop. Sorry, buddy. Almost served you milk if chat wasn't here. All right. One matcha. Just matcha? It's not, a, yeah, it's not a green tea latte. Yep. I got nothing in my drawer. A cup of premium matcha coming up. Man, it's super green, huh? Let's try it. Da, da, da. What do you think? You know what? It's pretty good. I love matcha. Tastes a little grassy though, but I kind of like it. I'm glad it's to your taste. I wasn't sure if you'd enjoy it as is. Why wouldn't I? Some people find the taste a bit too intense when it's served straight like this. Well, good thing I like intense. Because it makes up for the fact I'm really not. Anywho, looking forward to your future recommendations from now on. I'll do my best. So, does anyone ever come here? What do you mean? Wait, hold on. Okay, I wanted, I was like, I'm like, did, did, literally did Lucas, like, upload it to social media? I was trying to pin this coffee shop on my post, right? But there's, like, no trace of your place anywhere. No tags, no mentions, nothing. What's up with that? Oh, uh, maybe our crowd isn't as big as your usual coffee shop since we opened quite late. That makes sense. What time do you guys close anyway? We're open until morning. For real? That's pretty heckin' late. Do you turn to a secret bar after like 2 a.m. or something? If we did, Officer Georgie over there would have a few things to say about that. What? That's no fun. Are you guys on social media at all? Not the coffee shop itself, no? A late night coffee shop that nobody talks about, huh? Interesting. But hey, that means I can stay until the storm's over, right? Of course. Stay as long as you'd like. Sweet, thanks. I can give you a shout out in my stories if you want your stories? Yep. Here, let me show you. Lucas made this selfie and posted it just seconds ago. Oh? I was gonna tag your place here. I do have an account there. But I haven't seen this feature before. Oh yeah, it's a pretty new thing on uh, Tomato uh, Chill. Huh? I always want, it always looks like Tamagotchi to me and it, I know it's not Tamagotchi and I always have to pause. You can check on people's updates now. Just open the stories tab on the app on the phone once in a while. Who knows, maybe you'll find some juicy info of your customers there. That's a bit. Hey, I'm just saying, people will post anything. 
kidding. I'm usually more active on my YouTube, or my tube channel anyway. But hey, since you're here, want me to tag you instead? No, thank you. But I'm curious, what do you do exactly? Your posts already seem to have a lot of reactions for a new feature. Right, I guess you can call me a lifestyle reviewer of sorts. I report on the hottest trends, on the hottest people, on the hottest places, and everything else in between. Wow. Does that mean this coffee shop is part of the hottest gang? Do you want it to be? Sure. For the right price, you can. Aw, never mind then. Just kidding. My manager decides what I endorse. They keep me on brand, so to speak. Since they said I can get too crazy sometimes. Whatever that means. Oh, lordy. Welcome back, Puffs. Thanks. Is everything all right? Kind of. The missus is not happy. Maybe I should try calling the cabs. What do you think? I'd say by minutes if I were you, Pops. Not good, huh? I've been calling him while I was still on the lookout earlier. One and a half hours later, here I am. There were no cabs around my station either. Did you try ordering online, Pops? Did you not see my phone? The only ordering I can do is gnome noms. <laughs> That's cute, gnome noms. From around the corner of my house. Touche. Well, on the bright side, our power seems stable for now. Whoa. I retract my statement. <laughs> for what it's worth, they held out much longer than I expected. You're right. Want to borrow my lighter then, Meredith? Attempting offer, but no thank you. I'm going to check on something, though, so I'll be right back. Sure, good luck. Hey, you alright? Yeah, everything's peachy. I just... I just don't like being in the dark so much. What, are you scared of the dark, kid? Duh, you never know who might jump out at you. But we're in a room. Still. Don't you feel scared at all, Pops? Of course not. I do night patrols all the time. If I can grab him, I can handle him. In theory. I don't know how to feel about that at all. Huh. Did you hear something? What? I swear I heard something just now. Ooh. Wow, they have really pretty hair. Wow. Holy fuck. Whoa. Oh my gosh, look at Lucas's face. Da. Da, da, da. Uh. Hi. Da, da, da. I'm back. Sorry about that. Everything should be good for now. Oh, great. Welcome. Can I place my order? Of course. What do you have? Although our arsenal is limited at the moment, we still have the usual fare. Coffee, tea, and herbal drinks. I'd like something soothing for my throat. And my, for my mind. Tough day at work? Da, da, da. If you have no particular drink in mind, might I suggest our new blue pea latte? Blue pea latte. Could you make it pretty? I'll try my best. Okay. One blue tea latte with art, please. It is my time to shine. I love making it. Brew. Oh, milk blue pea. Oh no, trash it. <laughs> so it's blue pea milk milk. Right? Bro. Is 
There we go. Let's air it. It's a ghost. And it's going like this. Oh wow, that's very cool that it. Cause I did they show it last time, when you did it. I don't remember that they did it, like that. I'm gonna reset. I'm gonna try one more time. Oh, biscuits, no. Oh my gosh, I, I, again, have looked at people's, like, latte art on the internet, and I don't know. Oh, I can invert it. Thank you, Sarah. That's what I wanted to do. Thank you. I want to make a leaf. <laughs> How do people flipping do this? made a leaf once. Remember you hold the mouse so if you want thicker, which I which I am, yeah. Hold on, I'm gonna try one more time. And whatever happens, happens at this point. Because we gotta go. It's perfect. It's beautiful. It's the most beautiful thing I've ever done. All right. Serve it. Thank you for waiting. Here you go. Da da da. It's blue? Yes, but rest assured it's all natural. Rage Cage, welcome to the chat. We just finished Coffee Talk, so we're doing the uh, uh, second one that's coming out in 2023, the demo. It's pretty. Hmm. How do you like it? It's good. Thank you. You're very welcome. Is the power okay now? Yes, the city department is making sure of it. Awesome. Now, ugh, now we can just wait until the storm's over. Well, about that. The news said the storm will go on until midnight at the very least. What? Would have been nice if I had my car. There are several road closures due to the flooding also. Well, darn. So basically you're saying we're stuck. Afraid so? At least for a little while. I'm in deep trouble. What's wrong with your car, Pops? Yeah, you didn't finish explaining it earlier. I have questions. <laughs> Just didn't want to alarm you, Meredith. His tires got flattened. For real? Yep. There's been some vandalism going on recently. Somebody keeps removing valve cores and deflating tires and parked cars around the West Precinct. Huh. Why? Maybe someone's a collector. Or got too much time on their hands, no clue yet. Anyhow, our station was getting repaved, so a few of us had to park outside today. Well, you know the rest. Did everyone in his cars get affected too, cops? Pops? Ugh. Nope. You can tell it's 9.05 because I'm like, bleh, bleh, world salad. <laughs> Just fine. Oh. That's so weird. 
people are saying cops pops in the chats. You're so chill about it. Yeah? Maybe because there's no real damage done other than wasting my time. My colleagues aren't so cool about it, though. The recent mass vaccinations have left us severely understaffed. Additionally, companies are moving out due to the tax hike, so protests are happening. Which means tensions are high all around. That doesn't sound good. Don't I know it. Anyway, we got the culprit on CCTV. So I'll be looking into it starting tomorrow. Just hoping it won't get any crazier in the meantime. Could it be a prank, Pops? You think so? Yeah. With what's been going on lately, the suspicion would land elsewhere, right? So the culprit may think they won't get caught. Are you speaking from experience? If I say yes, would you let it slide? Depends on what you did. Harsh. But I'm serious. Prank videos are like their own genre online, you know? People watch that kind of stuff? Oh, yeah. It's all about cheap thrills, Pops. And a good way to make money, too, if you play your cards right. Oh? Crazier your shtick is, the more views you get. Which means more ad money. Lather, rinse, repeat until you push them just a bit too far. Then you get the nuke and everything will just go poof. And disappear. Won't stop anyone from doing it over again, though. Because really, all you need to do to get started is a camera phone and a Wi-Fi. Everything else comes down to timing and luck. You sure know a lot about this. Maybe I should bring you in for questioning. Oh no, my manager would kill me. Joking. Anyhow. At high risk, high reward opportunity with a low entry barrier. Sounds like something else. Oh yeah. Anything goes for views. Honestly, it's one of the reasons I'm on break at the moment. Oh? It's a long story. I've been wanting to change the direction of my show for a long time now. What's wrong with it? Well, the views are declining for one. Why? Not enough pr pranks? Ooh. Harsh. Nah, I haven't done those things in a long time. Not that I ever wanted to go back into it. Anyways, I'm not in a position where I can take that kind of risk yet. Even if I'm totally up for trying something new. Because people don't like change. That's right. Yet they get bored easily, too. Today's good might be tomorrow. Just trash. Trash tomorrow. <laughs> so it feels like I'm battling a daily paradox sometimes. You make it sound like they can yeah, continue to yeah, get this is boop boop boop. Uh, if your work depends on the audience's whims, kids. I guess you could say that. Why? Pardon? Sorry, I didn't mean to intrude. I was unable to avoid overhearing you. It's all right. I know I'm loud. Can you explain what you mean by why? Dot, dot, dot. Do you think the audience is always right? Of course not. Then why place so much emphasis on what they want? Why must you follow their whims? I mean, it all comes down to numbers, right? Dot, dot, dot. A single opinion might be easy to negotiate with. Maybe even 10 or 100, it's still doable. But to influence the opinion of thousands, millions? Not so easy. So my belief is if you can't fight him, join him. Then change things slowly from the inside out. Dot, dot, dot. There's no way I can work. No? Why do you think that? Dot, dot, dot. My apologies for not providing context. You don't have to. I was just curious. Considering I intruded, it's only fair. I admit that I'm not a big fan of online activities. I find the people's conduct there very loathsome. That's a strong word. Two years ago, I uploaded my singing reel online in preparation for my audition as a soprano. A soprano, really? 
That's cool. Can I see it? I already took it down. Oh, why? I believe she's getting into it, kid. Getting it, getting to it, kid. Right, okay. It was something made out of necessity. I recorded the reel using my phone at home. Since I have no previous theater experience to show, it was not of the highest quality, I admit. Even so, I did post it to a video site, mainly to add the link to my applications. Though I'm not sure if it helped at all. As my attempts have yet to yield results. Right. However, one day my application received an unexpected response from an auditioner. It was a polite rejection. However, they left me with a curious suggestion. What do they say? They highly recommend that I moderate my video's comment section. So I checked. It was a lot. What happened? The comment section was teeming with plenty of strong opinions. If they can even be called that. What? There were a lot of comments telling me to stop screaming and to take my video down. Because I didn't want to get cursed and die yet. Oh, I think she's a banshee or a siren. What's with that nonsense? Yeah, what is with that nonsense? Others question my sanity for knowingly spreading bad luck with my voice. Many others also wanted to know who and where my handler was. Uh, that's not cool. Since there's no such thing as sentience for us banshees, I suppose. Yep. That's really fucked up. That's horrible. Even with the Vindication Act in place, those POS still exist, huh? The Vindication Act. A global treaty to recognize the sentiency and rights of non-sapiens. Sapien refers to any species that is intelligent and bipedal. Like humans, elves, orcs, gnomes, halflings. You know the type. Huh. Yeah, like, even us satyrs got added pretty late to the game, too, you know? Oh, but shouldn't you fit the bill right away? Yeah, but we're all born males. And we didn't really have the best reputation, either. Anyway, it took a while for us to finally get recognized by international law. Since the further you are from the likeness of the main six, the slower the process will be. So I'm sure it's been way harder for you, lady. Our numbers are extremely low. Others being unfamiliar with our existence is not surprising to us. Still, doesn't make it right. But I get it now. You're disdain for the internet. I'm impressed you seem very chill about it. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Chill? Do I look chill? Uh-oh, the light. But how can you be chill when such blatant disrespect thrown in your face like that? Whoa. Dot, dot, or, or not even dot, 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 exclamation point, exclamation point. Don't you wonder what gives them the right to be so vile? Who do they think they are? Pray tell, what do they feel when they commit such offensive acts? Do they feel some sort of perverse pleasure from other suffering? The audacity. I can't. I can't. I see the anomaly of talking through screens. It has afforded people the comfort of disrespecting others without suffering a direct hit to their face for it. Damn it, not again. Just a second, please. Oh, okay. Dot, dot, dot. Ah, thank goodness. Hmm. Dot, dot, dot. It's just... Not right. That kind of behavior is just not right. I'm sorry. I've gone too far. It's alright. I admit... I just don't want to hear that audience is always right. 
because that means my dream ran aground before I could even try. Dot, dot, dot. How about if I help you? Question mark? Look, I get what you're going through. As a satyr, I had to deal with plenty of numbskulls trying to tear me down and justify their own inferiority complexes. So believe me when I tell you this, you got what it takes to turn the tables on them. Aw, oh, friendship. Best ship. Dot, 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 question mark. How? Easy. You got to sell yourself. Whoa, kid, slow down. I might be lax, but I still work for the law. No, Pops, not that kind. Honestly, I don't know how much about the opera scene, uh, but I know Sirens dominate a huge chunk of the Soprano roles. Am I right? Dot, dot, dot. Yes. It's as if they were made for the role. Exactly. So, this is the case of, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Which means, no matter what you do or how hard you try, you'll always be an outlier. Therefore, if you just compete based on your skills alone, sorry to say this, but you probably won't make it. Dot, dot, dot. Wait, hear me out. You got one awesome thing all those sirens don't have. Question mark. A story. A story? Yeah. Imagine. A banshee who dreams of becoming a lead soprano. Or whatever it is you wish to do on the stage. Pursuing her dream in the midst of all the sirens despite all the odds stacked against her. Isn't that a great narrative? Dot, dot, dot. But you haven't even heard my singing yet. Have you? I'd love to, of course. But honestly, that doesn't matter as much as you think. What? Our goal is to get your story stuck in people's heads first. Most people will just scoff at it because of their own dumb assumptions. Which is exactly what we want. And then we'll blow all their expectations away by putting you on stage. What stage? And how? Don't worry, I have my ways. No matter how you sing, everybody will be surprised seeing on, will be surprised seeing on there. Everybody will be surprised seeing, probably seeing you on there. And that's when you'll get your time to really shine. What are you talking about? No. What, why? I just want a chance to properly sing. To show what I'm made of, regardless of what I am. I know, and I'm offering you a possibly way, possible way in. No offense, but all this sounds like you're just... It's as if you're trying to sell a character of me. Of course not. No way. But ouch, that kind of hurt a little bit. I'm sorry for being rude. But I don't know you. And you don't know me. So how am I supposed to consider everything you said? When you don't even know my name. Well, if you if what you've been doing had worked at all, I would have asked for your name already, don't you think? Dot dot dot. Hey. I don't know where you're going with that, but I think you went too far, kid. What the hell are you talking about? Dot, dot, dot. Aw, oh, crap. Hey, look, I'm sick. The storm seems to be easing up. I'll be taking my leave. Great. Thank you for coming, Miss... Riona. Miss Riona. We hope to see you again. She's great. Our conversation certainly took an odd turn. So let's make this point. For all the words you spoke earlier, I feel few were actually intended for me. Dot, dot, dot. Take care. Have a safe trip. Dot, dot, dot. Uh, sorry about all that. I messed up, didn't I? Can't say, kid. This old man's still trying to figure out what just happened. Oh, man. Do you know what came over me, Pops? I got too hyped up sometimes and lose my cool. 
Sorry, just a sec. It's my manager. Real pleasure's over, so he's picking me up now. Oh, that's wonderful. Nice. By the way, do you need a ride, Pops? I can drop you off wherever, no problem. Thanks, kid, but it's alright. I'm sure the cabs will start rolling around soon. You sure? Yep. Alrighty. I guess I'll be seeing you guys around. Thanks for coming. We hope to see you again. Yeah. Dot, dot, dot. Hey, Meredith. Yeah? No, it's nothing. Okay, then. See you soon, Meredith. Pops. Have a safe trip. Well, that was a show and a half. No kidding. Feels like I'm ready to just call today. <laughs> as soon as I get my cab, I'll get you out of, out of your hair, Meredith. Oh, please. You know I don't mean it like that. Not gonna lie, though. Listen to those two got me thinking for a little bit. About... Me and my youngest daughter, Missy. Maybe I was too hard on her, but I don't know. When you're a parent, it's hard to choose between supporting your kids' ideas or stopping them from taking things too far. It's always a fine line to tread, for sure. Yep. Uh-oh. That's the missus. You know what? I think I better go. At least if she hears the rain outside, she'll get less mad at me. Please try not to get sick. Kidding. But I better go, though. You take care on closing, Meredith. Will do. Hope you get a cab soon. Thanks. See ya. Oof, what a day. Better clean up and then... Huh? What's this? An old metal lighter with an interesting design carved into it. Hmm, someone must have forgotten this. Better keep it safe over here. An old lighter, maybe someone's lucky charm of sorts. Okay, now let's wrap this up. To be continued. Thanks for playing. I will. Very cool. Oh, and there she is. That's very rad. Okay, big me. Oh, I'm super, super video audio delayed. Apologies for that. Um, it is time to go to sleep. So, Thank you, everybody, for joining me tonight. Um, thanks for finishing Coffee Talk with me and playing the demo with me as well. Um, this was super, super fun. Uh, if you had a really good time, uh, check us out on Facebook. Check us out on Twitter. Join our Discord at discord.gg backslash games, where you can talk to amazing community members like yourself. Uh, check us out on our streams Mondays, uh, Fizz Plays Pyre. Uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays are question mark next week. We will let you know. But all of that is happening at 5 o'clock p.m. Pacific. Uh, VODs will be up on the YouTube at youtube.com backslash whispered games if you'd like to check out our library uh, or catch up on Coffee Talk or catch up on any of the other streams because they're all fantastic, including Fizz's Pyre stream because he uses voices and does a voice act. And it's very, very fantastic. Um... Yeah, so thank you so much for being here with me and sticking it out uh, over time. And if you're on YouTube, thanks for being here as well. We love having you. All right, so on that note, take care of yourselves, take care of others, and as always, keep your spirits up. And we'll see you around the Discord, and we'll see you next week. Bye! Gotta wait for the video to catch up before it hit stop streaming.